In this video, we are going to see the differential length, differential surface and the differential volume of rectangular coordinate system. Okay. Go. video we are going to see the differential length, differential surface and differential volume of rectangular coordinate system. So, first we consider the rectangular coordinate system. This is a rectangular, this is a three dimensional rectangular coordinate system. This is a x direction, this is a y direction, this is a z direction. So, in the three dimensional direction, now we are going to take small portion in the three dimensional rectangular coordinate system for analysis purpose. Consider the small portion in rectangular coordinate system. So, I am considering this small portion in the rectangular coordinate system for analysis purpose. So, this portion has 8 edges, this means these, these are the edges of this uh, cube. It has 8 edges, so it, uh, it is a starting point P, Q or S. This is the 4 point is a starting point and the ending is uh, considered as the a and B and C and T. Okay. So now we consider this portion in the rectangular coordinate system. Okay. So first we need going to find the differential length. Okay. Differential length. Okay. First we are going to find the differential length. So differential length is this. We will consider the this side, this line and this line and are along the x direction. So, this, this line, this line and this portion and this portion are along the x direction and, and the dc, this portion, this line and out this line and this line is and these are along the y direction. Okay. Hello, next, the bc and qr and ad these are the direction along the is a direction okay so now we are considering the now we are going to solve the differential length so first consider p point this is a starting this is a ending so this this consider this this direction this point is along the x direction so now consider this point as x1 and this point as a x2 so what is the differential length between the x1 and x2? The difference between the x2 minus x2. That is the dx, the differential length in x direction dx is equal to x2 minus x1. The similar way the differential length in y direction dx dy sorry so dy is equal to y2 minus y y2 minus y1. In a similar way, on the z direction also, d z is equal to z two minus z one. These are the differential length of x direction. This is a dx. Okay. This uh, force, this this line is along with the y direction. This line is the dy. Okay. This line, this line is along the z direction. So it is d z. Okay. Now. What is the overall length? So next we are going to find the, the overall length of this is overall length of this portion. That is differential length of this portion. It is a vector quantity. So this is a vector quantity dl. 
vector now the dx ax cap plus dy ay cap plus tz az cap here the a ax cap ay cap and az cap these are represent the, the unit vector of x direction y direction and x direction the ax cap represent the unit vector of x direction and the ay represent the unit vector of y direction and a is represent the unit vector of z direction okay this is the this is the differential length of this portion okay next differential surface differential surface that is the area differential surface area so this portion has six faces okay six faces each face has different uh, values six faces so now consider this portion so this portion uh, consider this portion this portion has length and breadth okay area what is, what is formula of area is the length and breadth the uh, area so this consider this portion the uh, length and breadth is here uh, dx this portion is dy okay so now first surface is so surface also in general it is also vector so surface is a vector quantity so this portion first this consider this portion pq uh, pq b a consider this portion this portion as x direction in the x direction in the breadth and the length y direction so surface value is dx dy is a magnitude of the surface next it is a vector quantity so now we are going to calculate the direction of the this portion so now consider direction so direction always perpendicular to the surface so this is a perpendicular direction the surface okay is a either it's a upward or downward so but typically we are considering the direction which is going outside okay typically we consider the direction which is going the outside so the outside direction is upward direction so upward direction which is represent the z so dx dy a z cap okay similarly remaining faces similarly remaining faces what is dy and d z a x cap similarly another so dx d z a y cap these are the different uh, differential surfaces of this portion of the this portion of the rectangle coordinate system so next next thing is the differential volume so differential volume differential volume so differential volume as a scalar quantity so so differential volume has a scalar quantity already you know the formula that volume has length breadth and height now now look at the diagram this is a length d y and breadth dx dx and height t is z so the volume has length breadth and height dx dy and dz the unit is meter cube okay and the similar way here the unit is meters square it is a surface area here uh, unit is meter here me unit is meter okay these are the the differential length and surface and volume of rectangular coordinate system okay okay clear